Welcome back to another video. This will be regarding FreeCAD. So this will be version 1.0.1. They released this version within September and I would like to make more content regarding free open source solution on this channel. So let's take a look over here. The first time you're going to load the program, you will be prompted by this window. So welcome to FreeCAD. Over here, you can change the language. You can change the unit system. In this case, I will leave the standard one and you can also change the navigation. If for some reason you want to change them uh, afterwards, you can easily do that. We also have the light team and the dark team over here. So I will click done and we're going to see that those dimensions will be added over here. So this is quite similar to SolidWorks and the navigation will be over here. So in this case, I will just leave it to CAD. But if you are familiar with other tools, for example, maybe Blender, which is another uh, great open source solution software, you can change that. Now, let's take a look over here. So we're going to have the following workbenches. They will be alphabetically. So we have assembly, we have um, BYM, CAM, drafting, uh, finite areas, and finite element analysis, FEM, inspection, material, meshes. And we're going to see over here also part design, surface design. So those are quite common within CAD solutions. But we also have this reverse engineering over here. Now, to get started, I will go within part design and I will create a new parametric part. And this is a tricky part. If you are familiar with SOLIDWORKS or CATIA or Fusion, the user interface is a little bit more intuitive. Over here, for example, we're going to see that we have the following features. So PAD, if you are familiar with, with CAD, you will know that PAD will be the feature that we're going to extrude. We're going to have a revolution, which will be revolve um, and so on. But the main problem is that by default, you are over here within task. So we'll need to go to the model and over here, you will need to show the origin. And now you would want to select a plane and start sketching. But uh, again, the user interface is not that intuitive. For example, I want to select this. I will double click it and I cannot create a sketch over here. And as you can see on the right click, I'm going to have the following options. So not related to sketches in this case. What you need to do is actually go over here within uh, Create Sketch. So this is quite tricky in my opinion. They should work on the user interface because the software is really powerful, but it's not very intuitive. Initially, maybe some would want to go over here so they will see Sketch. Okay, I can go within Sketch and I can draw a sketch. And afterwards, we're going to have this Create Sketch. Okay, I will select uh, a plane. And afterwards, I will, let's say I will do a rectangle. I will leave the sketch, so this will be similar to other tools. And now, okay, let's say that I want to have that extruded. I will go to Pad, and I'm going to be prompted that I cannot use selected object. So the selected object must belong to the active body. Consider using a shape binder or a base feature to reference external geometry. So again, this is not very intuitive, but what's actually the problem is that over here, we should have used this create sketch, not the one over here on the top. So again, quite odd. But if I will select, for example, now the, the same plane and I will do another rectangle over here and I will leave the sketch, that newly defined sketch, which will be added over here. You can also see the difference between those two sketches. This will be added under the body. This will be added over here within the main part. And this will be eligible for extrusion. So this will work just like within any other CAD solution. Okay, so I hope that um, this will make you give FreeCAD a try because I know that the software is really powerful, especially for the conversion. So if I'm going to go within File Export, export we're going to say that initially I will also need to select what I want. So let's say that I want this body, File, Export. We're going to see over here that we have a wide variety of file formats. So this is the main advantage. We can go for step with colors or um, step Z in this case. And we can also create files directly for other uh, CAD solutions. As you can see over here, we have quite a lot of, um, of file formats. OK, so I hope you enjoyed this kind of content. I will position a similar video on the left side and I will also add a subscribe button to the right. So that's it. Thanks for watching.